There's some old records. Please don't say that while I'm down here. Is that a woman humming? Let's go back in that room, we know past my camera. Welcome to what's called the Great House, built in 1698 for the Suttons. 1698 is such a long time ago, but the Great House also has a history of hauntings. Fleeting figures, one being an elderly lady. Footsteps heard often. Whiffs of cigarette smoke. Heavy objects moved inches from their normal position. And an elderly man sitting in his chair in front of his fire. I was so eager to get in and investigate. But what will we encounter? Spooklets and welcome back to the channel and if this is the first time you're seeing this face subscribe for all spooky shit you will see the explore in a minute it just feels like it's already started doesn't it it's so I don't know I don't want to be here but I do yeah. but I'm with Sean from Paranormal Finance UK hey. please 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 go follow Paranormal Finance UK on Facebook they're linked in the description they go live it's free to watch their lives and they're amazing just like me so <laughs> Also, a massive, massive thank you to the subscribers on this channel that are channel members. You guys are awesome. Have you got your other camera in case you want to investigate here? Oh, shit, yeah. When it's a new place, I love to explore because it's not just the paranormal that interests me, it's also the building itself. As soon as I got through the window, I instantly felt on edge. And when you've only just entered and things start to happen, you could almost bet your life you're in for a good night. Something happens on the walk round, and if it's paranormal, then wow. Oh wow. We're in. Oh wow. Look at that panel in with that wallpaper and that curtain and that door. <clears throat> Let me just get my torch out. There we go. Let's uh Hello, Hi. <laughs> oh that's the cellar by the looks of things. Right, I don't know what signals are. If it starts to drop, I'll come straight back up. Yeah, it might go. Which means if you want to see the sun, you're going to have to go on there to see To be fair, is that an old car radio? Oh. I do not like the feeling down here. Can you just keep hammering the thumbs up, guys, so that when they stop, I know my signal's dropping. It's a bit... I don't like it down here. Look at that. I did. I don't know if it's something popping back up that we've walked on. Because I stood on something crinkly and I came when I came down. I think... the old fire stove fire thing in there. Isn't it cool? I love the blue.
Oh, be careful actually with lights because there's a window missing. That's the front door, isn't it? Jesus, I don't think the stairs are a go. I don't know. Uh, do you feel off? Yeah, I do. I feel like my insides are shaky. Yeah. And I need to go for a wing as well. <laughs> I need to, don't I? Let's go have a look. I'm just going to poke my off here. Mine, there's that. Oh, wow. Um, there's some old records. Pardon? There's some old records. Oh my god, I just thought I saw somebody yesterday. Please don't say that while I'm down here. In all fairness, it's the um, same basement but the other side of it. Oh, okay. Do you think it's because you was on your own? I don't know. Just while we investigate, because I just feel I feel that fell off. off. Yeah. What was that? My camera's in there. Just, I keep hearing movement. I heard a bang before those people went past. And then they heard movement. I don't know if these stairs are safe to go up. Let me try on a couple of steps. I mean, I've not seen any of the ceiling that's happening right now. No. Right, I'm not Is that a woman humming? That was a woman humming. I can't. When those lads walked past, you could tell they were outside. But that woman's hum, you could tell, was in the room with us. The echo of her hum bouncing off the walls. Listen again. Let me know what you think. Look, I think go back in that room. I'm hating that. Go back in that room. We know past my camera. I need the torch on and I can't do it there. That was a female woman. It was in the house, wasn't it? Hello. My name's Susie. I'm Sean. We've just come to visit you in your lovely house and it is really, really lovely. I hope you don't mind. Now, we've had a little walk round. Again, I hope that's okay. Um, we've heard a woman hum. We do believe it was inside the house. We've also had, well, I heard uh, a bang and then movement not long after. I don't know if it's paranormal, if it's you. 
But if any of that was you, could you make yourself known while we stand here and be quiet for a minute? Could you knock on something? I can't actually explain. The atmosphere. Hopefully you guys and you guys can sort of feel it off the us. Yeah. Just by watching us, but it's, it's heavy. It's not because it's a new place. Is it? I don't think now. I just feel like I feel you, know, you know, like with the Wolf House that we're going to investigate. You know, when you walk into that, you don't walk into that house feeling like it was a sad house. You feel like does that make sense? Like yeah. there was a lot of happy memories. Mm -hmm. This house, I feel like there was a lot of bad energy in it. Does that make sense? Like yeah, not a happy, happy fa family. You yeah. know, when you move into a new house, mm -hmm. and you you know the family that lived there before you was not a happy family. Mm -hmm. That's the sort of energy I'm like picking up with cut, When someone's had an argument, you go into the room, you cut the atmosphere with a knife. Yes. You don't know they've had an argument, but you know. But you know, yeah. That's kind of what I'm picking up on here. Yeah. Was there some sad memories in this house? If we're right with anything, just make a noise. It just means yes to us. So, that woman humming was when you was trying to get upstairs. Do you want me to stand on the stairs Do you think again? it might be worth just trying to reenact that, what we was just doing? I do. I'll leave that camera there. I'm not peering around the room. I'm sorry guys as well, I don't have a camera light, it's broke. So I'm just going to stand on the stairs again. Did I hear a lady, or me and Sean hear a lady when I was on the stairs? Could you maybe whistle for us? Did you hear that? No. It's upstairs. There's a little tap. No. I'm not normally this jumpy on an investigation. We certainly wouldn't come out just us two if we were. No. There was, um, <coughs> did you hear it? Like, it was only faint, it could have been a random, but it just put me on edge. Yeah. And I was like, oh, because it's dark up there. The, oh, the flash of light may have been a car, yeah, I think it could have been. Yes, yeah, there's a wind, a uh, board missing, isn't there? Yeah. If I heard somebody upstairs when I was still on the sets, could you be a bit louder? I've introduced ourselves, but what we do, we're paranormal investigators and we're trying to prove that there's life after death. And we'd really, <coughs> really, really appreciate it if you could help us with that tonight. I'm actually going to set this camera down there. Yeah, it's like there was walking coming through. 
You can come join us. We're friendly. Could you do that again? Thank you if that's you. If this means you want to help us, which is lovely, could you knock loudly? That's how if it's a train with a little car or something. I'm used to hearing that now. That's the only problem with a new place, isn't it? Getting used to the noises. Yeah. Or can you let you, us know in your own way, just nice and loud, something, let us know you're here. Should we try the room through there? What, the other side? No. Or back to where That way. Room? Yeah. So if we have that lady here with us, you was humming a beautiful tune, Tune. 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 I can't even talk like it's tune. Can we hear you hum again? Could you sing us another song? You've got a lovely voice. Sorry, let me get my foot in. There's nothing to be afraid of if that's what's wrong. And we're not scared. You won't scare us. You could make us jump if you make a loud noise. That would be funny. Did you live here? Can you see us? If you can see us, can you make a noise? I always wonder that. Mm. If you can see us, can you make a noise? So I've got a little box down, it's got a stick hanging off it. You've heard the noise, it doesn't hurt you. I've took this out to different places trying to talk to people like you and it's never gone off, ever. Could you be the first person to touch that? Please. We just want to know that you're here with us and we'd love your company. If I throw something, can you throw it back or replicate the sound? Can we throw something that way as well? Yeah. We're both going to throw something in different directions. If you could copy the sound or throw it back, it would be amazing. One, two, three. Was that a whistle? I don't know what it was. It was like whistle and then movement. Came from that room anyway. <clears throat> but I don't know. I just automatically went to go in and I was like, there's no point, I can't see anything. So I try and throw something again in there. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm going to throw something again. If that was you that made a noise before, honestly, thank you so much. If you could do it again, that would be absolutely amazing. Any noises you've given us 
or when you, if it's been you using your voice, honestly, we can't thank you enough. But we need confirmation this is you. So when we ask, we like you to sort of do it on cue. We don't mean it to sound demanding. We spent quite a lot of time in this room investigating, even trying an EVP, which we got nothing. So we decided to go back into the other room. Should we go back into the other room? We could try an EVP in there as well. Yeah, good idea. Right. Can you touch that box on the stairs for us? Please. Really show us that you're here. Because we believe someone's here with us. Could you do that again, please? As much as I'm there. If you're a female, can you make a noise? Sounded like it. What was that, Laurie? What's that beep? What? Did you not hear that beep? No. Are you still feeling on ledge? Yeah. I feel clammy. And as I said, on edge clammy. Could you make a noise on the stairs? We'd hear it because it's wood. Nice and loud. That was outside, wasn't it? If you are a male, could you give us one knock? If you're female, could you give us two? Honestly, if that was you, thank you so, so much. Are you here with a female? Can you knock for yes? If you're here with a female. I'm only asking because we've heard female. Which is why I'm confused as to why I'm not getting response from a female. I know. Which then makes me think, does she know we're here? Can she see us? Or is she, she totally on a different dimension to... Is she going about her day? Yeah. Is it resi residual? Good thinking. Because if it's residual, they're just in a time. Is she humming because she's cleaning? Yeah. Or doing dinner? Or humming to her kids? Yeah. Which is why we're only occasionally hearing her, because she's not in one room, she'll be moving about the house. But that, if that was paranormal, that was on cue, yeah. that knock. Yeah. So he might not know anything about a lady here, because they'll be on different planes. Yeah. Would you like to come forward and talk to us? I feel like we've figured something out, even though I don't know if we have, obviously, but I feel like we've figured something out and got somewhere. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Just on the basis that there might be a male here. Yeah. If you're here with us then, if you're still here with us, can you make another noise? 
Do you mind us being here? The male that did knock to let us know that you're here. Could we hear your footsteps? Could you come and walk into this room with us? I just want to listen. Yeah. I wonder if we did a lock off. I'll try it. I feel like something might kick off with a lock off. Mm. Kick off with a lock off. Kick off with a lock off. A lock off. Just leaving the cameras alone is what I felt we needed to do, so I went with it. A lady humming and a knock seemingly responding to a male. We felt tonight we might have just caught some pretty cool evidence. We're very, very grateful for anything you gave us tonight, but could you give us a little bit more? We want to know your story. Are you connected to this house in some way? Make a noise. Do you do something loud? Anything? Thank you so much for having us. We've really enjoyed our visit, haven't we, Sean? We have loved it. You've got a lovely, lovely house, and anything you've given us, what we really, really appreciate it. We can't thank you enough. But we're going to love you and leave you now. Thank you. Thank you. This also means we're also going to love and leave you guys too. Thank you so much for joining tonight's investigation with us. We've really, really enjoyed it. We did find it quite interesting and I really hope you enjoyed it too. But I will see you in my next investigation, Spooklets. But until then, sleep tight. <laughs>